Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to be printing a 3D gimbal guard for your DJI Avada 2. Really neat, huh? Uh, actually, it was shared on one of the Facebook forums and I'll let me link leave a link to that in the description so that you guys can see and maybe download it yourself. Um, but we're also gonna be um, troubleshooting a technique because if you download a 3MF file, sometimes it might be empty. And how do you get it to work when it's empty? Um, so I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot that because that was an issue that I had had. And um, hopefully it'll help you moving forward when you open up a 3MF file uh, in Cura. It's empty and you wanna get it to print so that you can have the same experience or similar. Anyway, without any further ado, come, let's get started. This is the um, website, DJI Avada 2 Gimbal Bumper, which is great. Uh, most likely it's a one-time use. Um, hopefully it will have multiple uses and hopefully you'll never have to use it and you'll just have a sense of protection in case you do. All right, so um, in this case, you see you have open in Bamboo Studios, uh, download 3MF and download STL. For me, it's STL because I don't have a, a Bamboo Studio printer. And when you click on STL, uh, it gives you, welcome back to everything that glitches. There's only a 3MF file, okay? So we're gonna download it. And as you can see, it just downloaded it. Um, what I'll do is I'll just go to, into my uh, downloads folder and look at the most recent, recent one, which should be at the top. And as you can see, let's see, let's try that one more time. Oh, there it is. So as you can see, that's the most recent one. Now I'm going to drag it into Cura. Okay. And as you can see, let's see, we're using Cura 5.7.0 and where's my print? And it said no models in file. They are there, but they're hidden. Okay. So now we're going to um, quit Cura. Okay. And there's our file. Now for me, I don't know what other slicer you might have, but I'm going to open up Creality. I don't use Creality. I'm not crazy about it. Um, but in this case, it's good to have a plan B, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, see how it glitches sometimes, um, file. Hopefully we can just drop it in. And there it is right there. Don't make, oops, any changes to it, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to file and then um, save STL, okay? And then see, it'll just save it as the name. We're gonna save it to the desktop, okay? and then click OK. It'll open in the location folder, but it's on the desktop. So now we can quit this, okay? And um, for me, I'm just gonna exit because there's still some things we have to do to the print. So we can uh, go back here uh, to our desktop. Now here's our STL file, see that? Avada 2 front bumper. So now I'm gonna take that and drag it to um, Cura, the, the latest version, which is um, we'll just, it'll just open up, ulti make it Cura. There we are, okay. And here it is right here. Now it's not gonna print exactly like this. There's just a couple of things we have to do. Uh, we're gonna click there, and then you're gonna go here into the settings, right? Um, and then for me, uh, we will go into, um, most likely the settings should be in here. Um, so we're just gonna go to walls, which are six, right? And then the infill is at 25%. See that right there? I'll just highlight it for you. 25% and um, the walls, which are right here, we change that to six, okay? And knowing that and moving forward, now we're gonna scroll down to the bottom, okay, a little bit, and look for supports, see right here? So most likely you might have, have this selected, but you know, it'll probably look like that and you'll see skirt in three. So we'll click here, see where it says support, and then press that, and then a new menu will appear down below. So we have tree. Um, normally it's probably on normal for you. And I'm gonna do tree, just down like that. And you see it should say everywhere, leave it like that. And then we're gonna slice it, okay? And one hour and 29 minutes is about as long as it'll take. And you wanna preview it. Okay, see there's the little tree that it makes for the support. You can actually spin it around if you like, just have a look and see how it's gonna print because maybe um, you know you have a different bed. Uh, for me, I have the Ender 3 S1 Pro. Uh, I'm not sure what you might have, but you know you might have to move it or maybe just leave it where it is. Um, but all in all, it should print just like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna save it to disk. Um, you, you know, you, yeah, it should print exactly like that. We'll just save to disk. And for me, I'm just going to leave the name. I'm going to take out the um, 
CE 3S and just leave it like that. Leave it as its name. Okay. Save it. And for me, um, I can go back into um, my uh, printer and then um, upload it. Okay. And let's see how this actually prints. All right. See you guys on the flip side. Hopefully it fits because it looks like it printed, but it printed pretty big and this is doesn't look like it'll fit the Avada. I used tree supports, which is great, but as you can see, it does look a little big, but let's see if it actually fits. Hopefully the print is um, cooled off. Yeah, it cooled off. Usually when, when your print cools off, you can um, just, as you can see, just move it off the board, but that's not going to be an issue in this video. In this video... We hope, right, that it will actually fit. Let's take off the tree supports though. Or maybe that's how it's supposed to fit. I'm not sure. Um, so tree supports are easier to take off than some other supports. I have a support video if you're interested in it. This was printed at PLA. Oh, I followed the directions. The only parts that should be weak are the tree supports so that they actually come off. See, there's one. And here's here. We might have to use a pliers because we don't want to have any remnants on here so that it actually fits because I don't know whoever built this. Oh, nice. It just comes right off. See, look. And it looks like a tree. Isn't that cool? Tree supports. I should, too bad I didn't have this one for my thumbnail. I'm actually going to keep this. This is pretty cool. Maybe I'll take a picture of it like, like that for the thumbnail, right? And then use it as tree support. So let's see if this actually fits. Wow, pretty cool. If it does, that would be great. Uh, I'm not sure which one's the top and which one is the bottom. Um, I, but, oh yeah, it looks like it does fit. So it's a little deceiving at first. Looks like that might be the top. And the one with one clip is the bottom. Uh, I just want to see what's in there. Um, Size-wise. Like, let's see. Oh, I see. Yeah, so the one with one... Um, that's narrower goes at the bottom and the one that's bigger goes at the top because you have your uh, gimbal uh, uh, bumper thingies underneath there uh, so it doesn't impede it hopefully right in the perfect world um, but let's see um, so yeah see the little, one little thingy clip and let's see if it goes on wow oh this is cool this is similar to the StarTech one who the hell? Amazing how folks can make stuff like this. They must have taken the drone apart and, um, like to get it to print, like to measure it. Like, this is freaking insane. Unbelievable. Thank you. And good night. Wow, this is great. And look, if it does crash, you have your, um, you have your, uh, um, gimbal protected. Now, I'm going to get bumpers. Um, online from this um, other fellow that sells them. But look at that. This is just phenomenal. It's intimidating at first. I'm like, wait, it's too big. It's not going to fit. But yeah, this is uh, this is phenomenal. And you protect your investment because I see all these crash pictures, but no one's sharing the videos. If you guys want to go viral, um, not that I'll ever go viral, but like <laughs> there are no crash videos on the Avada. Everything's just a photo. I think now's the perfect opportunity for someone to take advantage of the crash compilation because I just don't get it. I mean, crashing is not my thing, so I don't, you know, not my kind of video, but um, just people are asking. People want to see what happened before you crash, but look, check it out. This is really cool. Awesome. And I don't think it, it will impede the um, flight experience or the gimbal. Let's see. No. It's... Um, let me see if it moves, because there's like a little bumper guard in there. Yeah, no? Wow, we're, they really put a lot of thought into this. No, it does not affect anything. Awesome. Yeah. Wow, they must have taken it apart to get those measurements. But, looks good. 
Okay, in case some of you are wondering if it impedes the visuals, we're just gonna have a look and, and share that experience with you so that you can see. As you can see right now, uh, we don't see anything. This is an ultra wide though. So if you set your camera to ultra wide, this is what you're gonna get with the um, gimbal uh, guard protector thingy on there. And as you can see, so far so good. Uh, looks okay. And we, we might have a similar experience to that of the StarTech. That is actually, um, you'll find that on the um, Avada, if that makes any sense. But as we can see, so far nothing up oh, there you go a little bit over there right um but you know that's okay I, um you know this is just if you're having fun and flying if you you're gonna if you're gonna shoot for commercial purposes you know you take it off or just you know you can crop out the experience and now we're gonna try normal mode okay so normal uh normal i think it does pretty good normal the experience is um you know it's fair uh, we don't have that big of a difference. As you can see, I'm able to turn and nothing. So this is normal view. There was something there a second ago, but no, so far so good. Not bad. Now in the goggles, you're going to have a different experience. So I think normal, uh, putting the camera in normal would be the way to go if you're going to use this uh, 3D printed version. But I don't have any complaints in that sense. For me, I fly for fun. Um, so in a sense, you know, if I'm going to be using this drone, uh, it's not going to matter. You can always crop it out in uh, a final cut. In case you're wondering about the goggles, right? So as you can see in the goggles, it's totally visible. But don't be intimidated by it because it's similar to that experience that you have with um, Avada 1. Uh, I have the StarTech um, gimbal protector on there. I have these really cool um, uh, bumper guards, right, for, for the props. And it works really well. You see it, but you're like, oh no, it's in my video. But as you can see it here, it's in your video. But if you leave it set to wide, you're fine. I just have to double check the settings on my uh, Avada 1 goggles, the Integra, to see what I have because this experience is exactly uh, similar to that. Remember, this is the goggles. So you'll see it in your goggles. But as you saw before, uh, if you're in wide mode, you, you, you know it doesn't really show up. Uh, it depends on you know how fast you're going sometimes when you go really fast it just disappears but you know it, it's it's doable and workable and I'll, I'll share with you in the uh, next section uh, we'll actually show you a video of the beach with the StarTech uh, um, uh, gimbal guard and bumpers um, for the propellers so as you can see you basically get photobomb this is with the Avada um, but this is from the, uh, I believe it's from the goggles. Um, but once you start flying and you take off, it's not going to show. So this is with the goggles, with the uh, OSD information, basically all the text you see on your goggles is a way to shut it off. There's actually a video I have for that in case you're interested and you don't want your text. Because sometimes you get really good quality video uh, from the goggles, but as you can see, it's not as wide. Um, so this is from the goggle view, right? So you think that this is how your video is going to come out because sometimes you could just use it straight out of the goggles. Um, but in this case, no. So now let, let go my spotters for all you folks out there that are like, hey, he doesn't have a spotter. Anyway, um, so before I took off, but anyway, let me show you how it looks without um, outside the goggles when you take the footage from the drone, okay? <laughs>
Kind of neat, huh? Gotta love it. And it's on there. Like, it's literally on there. And it may come off during the crash. It may not. Uh, but it's holding really well. Um, my plan is not to crash, but at least it's protected. Um, and it kind of reminds me of the StarTech one. But actually better because we actually saved money and printed it ourselves. Uh, and hopefully I don't have to print another one. But um, gotta love it. It's a nice color. A yellow. A yellow is what I have. You know, you print it in whatever color you have. Don't run out and buy filament. Just, um, if you have the filament, just print whatever you have. Um, you know, whatever works right for you. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you in better understanding how to get a 3MF file to show the file that somehow disappeared. And um, also print your favorite uh, something for your favorite something, or maybe someone. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. Or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.